The raven, as was his way then and as it is now, began to plan. Because he knew he had to steal this light for himself. But first, Raven had to find a door into the house. And as the smoke hole was far too small, and with the fire below, there was a chance he could be burned up. So instead, he searched for a door. But no matter how many times he circled the house or how carefully he felt the planking, it remained smooth and broken. Sometimes he would hear the daughter leave the house to get water or a fish. But she always walked from the side of the house opposite him, and when he ran around the other side, the wall would be as unbroken as ever. Eagle watched all this. So finally, Raven sat down a little upstream of the old man's home, and he thought about how he could get into the house. <sighs> oh, you again, storyteller. Do you always sneak so, Frog? No more than you, Raven. No more than you. Hmm. What do you want? The same as you, good raven. To free the light. Hmm. And what would you do with it? Why, free my brothers, of course. Our brothers. Free them from their own shadows so they might walk the world as do we. Surely, brother, a world as great as this one should be shared. Maybe. Not that it matters, since I can't get anywhere close to the light. There is no door. The smoke hole is too close to the fire, and I can't simply walk through the wall like the girl. So here I sit, and the light sits in there, in that box, glowing. If you can't walk in, you might float. And in the words of the frog, Raven found the solution to his problem. He waited until the young woman came to the river to gather water and fish, and he began to change himself into a spruce needle. What is it you are doing? All sorts of tricks I have, Eagle. How's your head? Lose any more feathers? Hmm? I am not bald. Didn't say you were. Furthermore, I will remind you this is my adult coloration. As you say. Ha! <laughs> You'll hurt my feelings, Raven. Or is it toothpick? Shh! I'm trying to concentrate. I don't think you've quite got the hang of it. I needed something to pick my beak, though. Let me go, Eagle. I'm warning you. I am not going to let you make a mess of things, Raven. This is the shadow time, and the time of light must wait. Things aren't ready for change. Why? Because I don't want things to change. But I do. Let me go! So Raven fell into the river and he floated down just in time to be caught in the girl's basket. Oh, trickster Raven. Eagle should not have doubted him. Raven knew how to get into the house. And once more, he knew how to take the form of the daughter and the father. There in the water he waited. And as he knew he would be, he was swallowed by the young girl as she was thirsty and drank of the water. And in this way, he was lodged inside her. And as he slept, he grew. The young girl didn't know what was happening to her. And from fear, she didn't tell her father. Days passed, and her belly grew. And then one day... I hurt, father. And where is the pain? 
It's here. Your mother had this pain only when you were born. It is of that pain? Yes. Then it will be a child. And so it was. He is a strange looking boy. Such a nose. Hmm. Those eyes of his are bright, and that is always good. And apparently a very strong set of gums. 